Welcome listeners to Astronomy Daily, your source for the latest space and astronomy news. I'm your host, Anna, and today we have a packed episode with exciting updates from across the cosmos, from rocket launches to planetary exploration and cosmic mysteries. We've got it all covered. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the fascinating world of astronomy. In exciting news for space enthusiasts, the Federal Aviation Administration has given SpaceX the green light to resume flights of its Falcon 9 rocket. This authorization comes after a period of grounding following a malfunction in the rocket's second stage during a previous mission. This authorization comes just in time for ESA's HERA mission to launch on schedule today, Monday, October 7th. This launch is set to carry the European Space Agency's HERA spacecraft, marking a significant step forward in international space cooperation. HERA is part of a planetary defense mission designed to study the effects of NASA's DART spacecraft impact on the asteroid Dimorphos. This return to flight is crucial for SpaceX, as the Falcon 9 is their workhorse rocket responsible for numerous satellite deployments and cargo missions to the International Space Station. The FAA's decision demonstrates their confidence in SpaceX's ability to address and resolve the issues that led to the earlier grounding. As we look forward to this launch, it's worth noting the resilience and adaptability of the space industry in overcoming challenges and pushing forward with critical missions. However, it's not all good news from SpaceX and NASA today. In space exploration, even the best laid plans can sometimes be disrupted by forces beyond our control. Such is the case with NASA's highly anticipated Europa Clipper mission. Originally slated for liftoff on October 10th, the $5 billion mission has hit an unexpected snag, Hurricane Milton. The powerful storm moving eastward from the Gulf of Mexico towards Florida's space coast has forced NASA and SpaceX to postpone the launch. With high winds and heavy rain expected in the Cape Canaveral area, safety concerns have taken precedence. While this delay may disappoint eager scientists and space enthusiasts, there's no need to worry just yet. The mission's launch window extends through November 6th, providing ample opportunity for a successful liftoff once the weather clears. The Europa Clipper team is now working diligently to secure the spacecraft and reassess launch options. We'll be keeping a close eye on developments and hope to bring you news of a new launch date soon. In other news today, imagine cutting your travel time to Mars in half. That's the promise of nuclear thermal propulsion technology currently being developed by researchers. This innovative propulsion system harnesses the power of nuclear fission to potentially revolutionize space travel. Unlike traditional chemical rockets, nuclear thermal propulsion uses the incredible energy released when atoms are split to heat a propellant, typically hydrogen, to extremely high temperatures. This superheated propellant is then expelled from the rocket's nozzle, generating thrust more efficiently than conventional methods. The potential benefits are significant. Not only could it dramatically reduce travel time to Mars, but it could also allow for larger payloads and more flexible mission planning. This technology could be a game changer for future crewed missions to the Red Planet. NASA and DARPA are working together on this ambitious project, with plans to demonstrate a prototype in space by 2027. It's an exciting development that could bring us one step closer to making long-distance space travel more feasible and efficient. Next up, a BepiColombo update. Exciting news from our solar system's innermost planet. The BepiColombo spacecraft has recently completed another flyby of Mercury, and the data it's collected is shedding new light on this mysterious world. During its brief 30-minute sweep through Mercury's magnetosphere, BepiColombo's instruments captured fascinating details about the planet's magnetic field and the plasma environment surrounding it. Scientists were able to map out various features of Mercury's magnetic landscape, including the shock boundary between the solar wind and the magnetosphere, as well as the horns flanking the plasma sheet. One of the most intriguing findings was the detection of a low-latitude boundary layer with a wide range of particle energies, something never before seen at Mercury. Researchers also observed hot ions near the equatorial plane, hinting at the possible existence of a ring current, a feature well understood on Earth, but still debated for Mercury. These observations are just a taste of what's to come. When BepiColombo enters Mercury's orbit in 2026, it will be able to conduct even more detailed studies of the planet's complex environment. The mission promises to revolutionize our understanding of Mercury's magnetic field, its interactions with the solar wind, and the connections between the planet's surface and its thin atmosphere. Next, a new theory that's bound to get astronomers and space enthusiasts talking. In a fascinating new study, researchers have uncovered compelling evidence about the origin of our galaxy's central supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A-star. 
It appears that this cosmic behemoth likely formed from a dramatic merger with another black hole approximately 9 billion years ago. This groundbreaking research, conducted by astrophysicists at the Nevada Center for Astrophysics, sheds light on some of Sagittarius A star's peculiar characteristics. The black hole's rapid spin and its misalignment with the Milky Way's angular momentum have long puzzled scientists. Now, these features make sense in the context of a major cosmic collision. Using sophisticated simulations and data from the Event Horizon Telescope, the team modeled various growth scenarios for Sagittarius A star. Their results strongly suggest that a merger with a black hole about a quarter of its size in a highly inclined orbital configuration could produce the spin properties we observe today. This cosmic event not only provides evidence for the hierarchical black hole merger theory, but also offers intriguing insights into our galaxy's dynamic history. It seems this merger may have occurred around the same time the Milky Way merged with the Gaia Enceladus galaxy, painting a picture of a turbulent period in our cosmic neighborhood's past. Finally today, in a concerning development for astronomers worldwide, the first satellites of China's new Tianfan broadband constellation have been observed to be significantly brighter than their Western counterparts. This unexpected brightness is raising alarms in the astronomical community as it could potentially interfere with crucial observations of the night sky. A recent study by a group of observational astronomers found that these Tianfan satellites, also known as Thousand Sails, are visible to the naked eye when overhead, with a brightness ranging from magnitude 4 to 8. This is well above the recommended threshold of magnitude 7, set by professional astronomers to minimize interference with major ground-based observatories. Unlike some Western satellite systems that have implemented measures to reduce their visibility, such as SpaceX's Starlink satellites, the Tianfan satellites don't appear to incorporate any brightness mitigation techniques. This oversight could have significant implications for both professional and amateur astronomical activities. As China plans to launch over 14,000 of these satellites, the astronomical community is urging for immediate action to address this issue. The hope is that by raising awareness early, changes can be made to the design of future Qianfan satellites to reduce their impact on our view of the cosmos. And that brings us to the end of today's cosmic journey. I'm Anna, your guide through the wonders of space on Astronomy Daily. If you're hungry for more stellar content, don't forget to swing by our website at astronomydaily.io. There, you can dive into our constantly updating newsfeed, sign up for our free daily newsletter, and catch up on all our previous episodes. Want to stay connected with us across the galaxy of social media? You can find us as Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok. Whether you're a seasoned stargazer or just starting to look up, we've got something for everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, keep looking up because the universe is always putting on a show. Until next time, this is Anna signing off from Astronomy Daily. <laughs>